The Torah allows us, human beings, to eat and benefit from animals. In fact, we elevate the animal kingdom when we consume these animals, the meat of the animal, as part of God's world. But the Torah differentiates between the meat of the animal and the blood of the animal. The meat of the animal, obviously, we can eat from and we benefit from. But the blood of the animal, we are prohibited from consuming and benefiting from it. Now the question is why differentiate? If the animal is allowed to be consumed by the human, then seemingly the blood and the meat should be equal. We consume the meat, we should be able to consume the blood. Why does Torah say that the blood is prohibited from consumption? The answer is that both represent two separate ideas relating to physicality and materialism. The meat represents the physicality itself, the material world. And God permits us to benefit from material. On the contrary, He created the world in such a way that the material physical world sustains us and provides for us as we serve Him. But the blood represents the passion behind the physical, the enthusiasm, the geschmack, the enjoyment. And here God says that you can't touch. You want to benefit from the meat? You want to benefit from the physicality? You can. But not to overly indulge and not to overly enjoy oneself. We often engage, all the time in fact, with the physical material world around us. But we have to keep that in mind. It's there to provide for us, it's there to support us. But the moment we overly indulge and we enjoy ourselves to a point that we lose focus of God's purpose, of God's want and will, that is prohibited. The blood can't be touched. That's passion, that's enthusiasm that you can't touch. In fact, what we need to do is we need to see the hand of Hashem in the physical material world. When we see the hand of Hashem, we realize that everything has to do with the service of God. Not just prayer or Torah study, but in fact every physical activity that we're engaged in, including eating, is part of the service of Hashem. That doesn't mean we can overly indulge. That doesn't mean that we can enjoy and be passionate about the physical. We can't. But rather, the physical is there to support us and to ensure and enhance our service of God. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.